Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gift Togu and if this is your first time of watching any of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I was supposed to make this video a long time ago, but <laughs> I just am in bed, okay? I'm in bed doing this whole voiceover thing. I'm so exhausted. I'm just here to bring you guys an update on what's happening as regards the sex for grade story that I uploaded earlier yesterday on my YouTube channel. If you have not watched it, please go and watch the video. Go and watch the video. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to link it because I, I noticed that anytime I say I say I will link a video, I don't link it. Guys, if you're not familiar with the story, BBC released an internet breaking story yesterday on sex for grades. BBC exposed a whole lot of lecturers, like two lecturers from the University of Lagos, Nigeria, and two lecturers from the University of Ghana, Ligon. That story actually broke the internet, guys. It broke the internet and it gave a lot of people the courage to speak up as regards sex for grades and the, the ills that have actually been going on in our society. Um, from the story, like, you guys even heard that Kiki Modi and Kiki Modi was even threatened because that, that that's brave journalism. Like, working as an undercover and exposing these people, not Taking a hidden camera with you and trying to expose them is not it's not a it's not a child's play at all. That's like stellar journalism and I am a, I'm applauding her for that. Let's get straight to the matter. You guys know um, one of the accused, one of the culprits of sex for great Dr. Boniface Ibine, but I don't know how to pronounce his name very well. He's an assistant professor. An associate professor of French at the University of Lagos. He was one of the one of the victims, one of the, not the victims, one of the culprits, guys, one of the culprits. I know. Sorry, guys. According to news making rounds, Dr. Boniface has been suspended from the University of Lagos. He has been asked to step down from Four Square Gospel Church, where he is the head pastor. And as if that is not enough nothing is actually enough for someone that betrays this kind of crime he actually drank rat poison to kill himself unfortunately unfortunately he survived it so he was rushed to reddington hospital yesterday yeah he was rushed to reddington hospital early okay the early hours of this morning the early, the early hours of this morning because it's still Wednesday. I just checked my time. So he tried to commit suicide. This video that I'm actually using as um, a cover is one of the um, perpetrators of this act. This one is a lecturer at the University of Ghana. And he even had the effort to come to class to cry to his students. And like... <laughs> He came to class to teach after making rounds on the internet so that they'll probably heal him or, or or console him like i don't even understand the aim it's supposed to be shameful enough you're supposed to run or go and hand yourself over to over to the police and not come to class to teach i know because your reputation has been damaged and i i'm not i don't feel for any of them at all i don't feel for any of them because i feel that they brought this upon themselves. Keep your dick in your pants and teach. Don't like everyone goes through temptation. So you are supposed to be somebody that we look up to, not somebody that would sleep with us and all. Like, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, but I just don't feel for any of them. In other news, Kemi Oyunloye, you guys know her, Madam HKN or HNN, I really can't remember, I don't know, I don't really know. She's actually disputing Kiki Modi's story, saying that BBC did not do a great job, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to attach her tweet to this video so that you guys can actually watch it and see, read it and see what, I, what I'm saying, guys. Like, you guys should come and see what I'm saying, what Madam Kemi is saying, like, this background to talk because i have just one copyright strike and i'm not about to get another one as i was saying a whole lot of people have come out to call out different lecturers from different universities in nigeria and even beyond calling out their lecturers for what they did to them calling them out for even okay there was one from, from the university of nigeria that did not he didn't get a scholarship because of what his lecturer basically did to him so 
this sex of for grades is actually beyond it i'm really happy that in 2019 a whole lot of people are speaking out as regards the ills in the society especially women women are coming out to say to women are getting a bold now to talk about the issues that they face which ordinarily they would not have the courage to say it and i'm really happy that a whole lot of people are listening this um these days yeah so you guys i know i was just rambling all about but thank you so much for watching i just said i should come and update you guys as regards what is going on and the fact that dr boniface attempted suicide and what is happening the tweets that are going on don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye bye